Wedging from the outside of a tenon is another common method for reinforcing a through mortise and tenon joint. Wedge through tenons are often seen in door construction and the addition of the wedge prevents the tenon from being pulled back out of the mortise as it widens the end of the tenon on the end opposite the shoulder. Wedges can be placed either on the outer edges of the tenon or in a saw curve or split inside the tenon. The ends of the mortise should be sloped slightly to accommodate the wedge beyond a small straight area next to the shoulder. This can be done with a few strokes from a chisel and the goal is for the wedges or the sloped ends of a tenon wedged from the center to make full contact with the edges of the tenon. When wedges are placed within the tenon, the joint is theoretically stronger due to the fact that the ends of the tenon flare out. This version is an additional guarantee against glue failure. The wedges can be placed either in saw kerfs or in chisel cuts cut in the end of the tenon. There's no need to drill relief holes in the end of the kerfs to prevent splitting. Splitting won't occur when the wedges are driven in as the sides of the tenon are held tight by the end walls of the mortise. Non-through tenons can also be reinforced by wedging. This type of joint is called a fox wedge tenon. This forms a very strong joint that can't come apart, but its execution is risky. The sizes of the components must be carefully made to make sure that the joint closes tightly. The wedges are put in place before the joint is assembled, and as the joint comes together, the wedges force the tenon into the flared opening of the mortise. If the wedges are too long or too wide, they will prevent the shoulder from meeting the edge of the mortised piece. If the wedges are too short or too narrow, they will serve no useful purpose.